Okay, so right now I'm going to put this 24 um, volt, 2400 watt inverter in because I'm really just going to be running pretty much the mini split. I'd like to put the EG4 3000, but I've yet to order it yet. So um, what I did was I fed the wires through right here for an outlet and also to go through the hole for the battery connection. If I want to do the 48 volt, um, I can do that. I could actually almost mount the 48 volt on that wall there and have both of them if I wanted to, or even on this wall over here. But this one, I already have the wires connected for the battery and for the solar. And then the yellow wires here, the um, white, black, and ground is going to go right here neutral line and ground and that'll be my output so and this thing is the board that was on there so that is actually going to go up against that and then down here is where my batteries will go i'm going to put two uh lithium iron phosphate batteries those um cycle bats i've got one coming and i'm going to uh those, they say you can put them in parallel. Uh, you can put in series up to four to make 48 volts. And you can put um, two of those in parallel. So, uh, but right now we're just going to put our batteries down there. Um, I'd like to use the um, DG4s, but... Those you can put in parallel. You're really not supposed to put them in series. They don't have the BMS set up for that. So, so we're going to go ahead and mount this. And then get ready to put the batteries in there. And see if we can get some solar hooked up to this. And before I do that, I'll show you in here. I put that hole... Right, right down here, I put a hole and I'm feeding. You can see the yellow wires I'm feeding there. And I put an outlet right here so that this plug up here for the mini split right there, I can pull this down and run that down to plug in there off the solar, off that 24 volt, 2400 watt uh, inverter. And... Right now, that cycle on bat is at 13.1 uh, volts out there. And I've got these lights on. It's not even bothering it. It's staying fully charged. So let me try and get this mounted on there and get it wired up and see what that looks like. Okay, so we got everything mounted. We've actually got this running. It's um, running the mini split inside right now, and it's at 25.7, because this is a 24 volt, 2400 watt, but we don't even have any solar hooked up. We're just running it on our batteries down there, 212 volts in, in uh, series to make 24 volts. And this feeds in nicely into this compartment. And then we just ran that wire through there for the um 120 volts and then we have it grounded back here right there and then we put uh, zip ties on there but we got this mounted on this wall take that off so you can see um let's see if we can toggle through and see how many watts we're running here so right now we're only using 400 and 387 360 watts on this so it's going down it must be at temperature and it's turning off so it's it's slowing down it's still running and of course that yellow wire i had in there you can see oh yeah so it's usually when these vents are facing down pointing down towards the bed it's blowing i can feel the heat right here i'm like seven, eight feet away, and I can actually feel the heat blowing on me. Um, 
don't have a temperature gun. But I, I have some extra slack of this cord because I usually plug it in here um, when the generator's running. But I had to use an extension cord to go down there and plug in. And uh, so we have this heavy duty cord. We're not running that many amps, 400 watts. We're probably running three and a half, four amps. But uh, got that connected. So I want to get an EG4 in here. But since I had this one laying around, and it's going to be a while, I have this set at 88 degrees. And you can see on there it's set at 88 that uh, it's actually already hit the temperature in here. This thing heats this up really quick. It's like maybe 10 minutes it's heated up. And this is that Cyclebat battery that we have. There is a 15 or 50 watt solar panel on top of this fridge up on the roof that trickle charges that. And we're keeping our battery at 13 volts right now. And we got these, we got three lights on in here. Um, so I could see what I was doing. So I don't really need those anymore. <clears throat> And let's see, it's nice and toasty in here. It's probably like 60 degrees outside. It's 88 in there. Yeah, we're at 26.1 volts on our, and we're only using 24 watts. So it's already reached the temperature that we have it set at 88 degrees. And that means this is not gonna be running. No, the fan's not running on this. So this is a 9,000 BTU. So it's, um, I'm really happy with this. I mean, it, it's kind of screwy that the, um, the, uh, remote does not show me, um, what it's saying it's at, what the temperature is on, um, the display. It's just whenever you set it to like 80 degrees or 88 degrees, whenever it reaches that, the, um, mini split will shut down or slow down a lot and then it uh it'll cycle back on and off and usually it stays running kind of cycles down but even with that door open it still heats that thing up really good so we're still playing with these 12 100 watt solar panels which are really dusty and we also are looking at using four of these 400 watt mono panels. That would give us 1600 watts. I mean, we're not, we're using four or 500 watts running that thing. So this would easily do that. And I could probably build something to carry these on my, um, on my bumper, some kind of a rack, and then just use like some fanoodles um that you use for your uh pool i don't know if i uh, don't have any anyways um you can use those for noodles or something um even i don't know if i have nope don't have anything in here either um, sometimes you can use this, uh, there's some, I could probably use this or something or some foam or something in between them. I could even buy some like styrofoam sheets of insulation from, uh, Home Depot. That's like one inch and then put them in between these when I put them on the bumper. Um, or I could just take that, um, ground mount portable rack and set that up in 15 minutes, mount four of these on there and just have it set up at my campsite. I'd rather do that than actually mount solar panels. I mean, I really got these uh, 100 watts, five amp solar panels to do that. Um, but you know, now that now that I'm seeing, I'm only using like four to 600 watts on that thing to run it. 
um, those uh, 100 watt solar panels might work out. I could still um, do those on a uh, ground mount solar array, that bright mount. Let's see where uh, it looks like my no, still not uh, running. It's um, shut down on me because it's reached the temperature. So and it was a uh, pretty easy. You know, just I drilled a hole with a hole saw right there, and then what I'll do is I'll take some uh, foam. You know, I got some foam here somewhere. Uh, foam. Where is it? Uh, I got some foam in here somewhere. Let's see. Might have to get some. Might have used it all up. Uh, yeah, we got some foam like this, but um, some of the like one inch by one inch foam that, uh, even this stuff, you know, I mean, this, this stuff right here, I could take a piece of this right here. And just put this in here. Not the easiest thing to do one-handed. Anyways, that, that other foam would work good to kind of the stuff that's like an inch thick and you can squeeze it down to nothing. That would fit in there really well. And so bugs don't get in or anything like that and keep the cold air out. But this is running really nice here. Um, I originally was looking at putting, like I said, the uh, EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverter up there. Um, that's working, but I'm also going to put these in there too and see if these will work. Um, the only thing about this is that's a modified sine wave as where that's a pure sine wave on that MPP charge controller. Um, I was almost going to take one of those off the wall, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you how I was able to connect it. So basically I have a hole right here on this backside where I ran my refrigerant lines, my power lines and that all in here. And then on, uh, underneath my bed here, um, uh, underneath the bed, I was able to take that board off and run the, the lines in here and be able to take and put this foam on there. <laughs> and it's, it's not the greatest looking, but it's not the worst looking either. It's just now until I can get to it, but I got plenty of room here to move this bed down and put like a bookshelf or something down there where I could put magazines or phone charger and a battery or build some shelves back there. And uh, then I could kind of cover that up because I got plenty of room. But that really came out good with the, uh, the way it was spaced everywhere. Now... Um, with that, with that, um, 48 volt, uh, EG4, I'm wondering, this is, this is, um, like 17 and a half inches. And I don't think these batteries, these server racks, no, those aren't going to fit in there. Um, oh, they're 17 inches. They might fit in there. I might be able to drop those down in there on their back like this, sitting in there, and be able to drop two in there. And then when I would, but I would have to have this 
change it out to this inverter because these are 48 volt, 51.20 volt. Um, right now with that, that's just two of those um, 12 volt batteries in series to get me uh, the 24 volts that I need for that system. But the way this thing is cycling on and off and cycles off for so long... This could easily charge it up um, with like 600 to 1,000 watts. But I'd like to get like 15, 1,600 watts. Like I said, if I can, I can close this door and right here I could build a rack going up and um, take and transport the solar panels in a rack like right here if I took uh, four of the 400 watts and be able to transport those and then get to the campsite and you know you could even lean them up against something or lay them on the ground or put them on that rack that rack takes 15 minutes to put together so pretty nice but this thing is um, pretty easy to turn off and shut down all we have to do is take our remote, turn that off. It is toasty in here with that heater on. Turn our lights off. And unplug our cord here. Don't need that. Set that down there. And then all we have to do over here is take and turn this off. And that should shut it down. The one thing I need to do is I need to put a uh, breaker in for my battery here. I should probably um, run these onto this wall right here put a breaker on there um, so I can shut this off and probably put a breaker on but you know I mean I got the GFI on there but I can put a breaker so see it's shut off on there so now I have this completely set up in there and I can still use storage in front of that so just wanted to show you that please like share subscribe Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2025.